Alright, some sweet science. Let's go. Oh! Great, let's do another. Combo's coming. Don't stop now. You got 30 seconds. Now that's how you throw a combination. Awesome stuff. All right, you know we can get a little bit better, so that's what we're gonna do. Today, I want to see you sharp and quick. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Yes, let me see those combinations. Good job. I love it. Well done. Really nice technique. Okay, wrestling fundamentals today. Keep it simple on the mats. I want to see good technique while you work for that takedown. Really impressed with your performance today. Great job. Oh, nice. I love it. Great pressure. We're here to work. Let's go. Good work. Now get heavy. All right. 30 seconds left. Good takedown. Come on. Awesome. Now that was wrestling one on one. Pummel into position, work for the single.
Okay, heavy bag and heavy punches. You ready? Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Following directions perfectly. Great job. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Don't stop now. 30 on the clock. Okay, let's roll. I want you to quickly move into the dominant position and establish control. Advance the position and look for mount. From there, it's all yours. Nice transition. Good, good job. It's almost locked. Stay in there. Nice pass. That's it, that's it, that's it. Now try to lock it up. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. Okay, I like it. I like it. Keep chasing that sub. All right, you had a little trouble today, but don't worry about it. We're gonna get better. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight.
Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. It's a title he always thought he would have. He just needed the opportunity, and you all saw what he did in outclassing the all-time great Max Holloway. Alexander Volkanovsky is the total package. We make a lot about his rugby league career, and at one point, he was a 214-pound athlete who was an absolute marauder, but now it has felt 145 pounds. He truly has every skill befitting a long-reigning champion. This division has a bunch of killers in it, and right now, they're all chasing the Volk man, Alexander Volkanovsky. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the chosen one. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Alexander the Great Bononovsky. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. All right, here we go with round one. No denying the momentum that this young man brings to the table here tonight. He has won his last three fights, and if he wins a fourth one here tonight, he could just be staring at his first UFC title fight. If not, it might be a title eliminator. Bottom line, you win a fourth straight fight here, you are getting a high-profile pay-per-view slot for the UFC. Big kick. Oh man, how many head kicks can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscious? One, normally. <laughs> this guy has a great chance. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. gets stoned by that leg kick. Another big leg kick land. Oh, heavy leg kick. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, made good. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. Oh! Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knee to the body. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh! Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! He's a 
trouble. He's hurt bad. Just shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, the chosen one. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.